Hi, today we're at Rec Van in Fremont. We are gonna show you the Winnebago Roam on the Dodge Promaster chassis. Hi, I'm Ann. That brilliant man behind the camera is my husband, Wade. And we're here at Rec Van to show you something new. I found this fascinating. Wade's parents are looking for a more accessible van to take to places. And I think this one is gonna fit the bill. Winnebago Rome on a Dodge Promaster chassis. This is interesting. Okay, it does have a ramp, which I will show later. If you walk on in, you can, there is a step here and a nice, a nice sturdy handle. And then we take you straight into the kitchen. So you roll in, or maybe you're with your walker and you come in and you're up to, you're right here at the kitchen. And I'll just show you the kitchen really quick. There's a nice pull out board here. It extends the countertop, very nice. Decent sized refrigerator, little freezer. Got a few drawers here. Okay. Please note there is no cooktop, which is okay. You do have a plug here, so you could buy one if you wanted one and just stow it in one of the drawers. It does have a microwave though, so that's nice. So the kitchen is small and compact, but you need that because you need the room for a wheelchair or your walker. There is some storage here and here in the kitchen. Let me take you to what I think, besides the ramp, is the hit of this rig, and that is the bathroom. Now there is a step, but there's a bar, and there is plenty of room should you have to make a transfer. And then the, the toilet, there is no door, but this is a sturdy, thick, easy to use curtain, and it just, and it automatically just kind of snaps in place. It operates on both sides, so you can get in and out. Very easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and just open it now. This toilet, wait for it, it spins. So if you wanted to, you can have your legs out if you wanted to or you could spin the toilet and have more room in here, this way, so you don't feel maybe as claustrophobic. There is no sink in here, so you are gonna use the kitchen sink to wash your hands, or you could put some hand sanitizer in here and have that. The toilet paper roll is covered, which is nice. There is a shower, it's a handheld. Again, sit, and then you can shower and put it right here. Now, this bar doesn't bother me, but it could bother people who are taller, but this does just come out. <clears throat> it pops out, so you don't need it. My husband is six foot tall and he reaches the ceiling. So note that, but you're kind of just coming in and sitting down and you can sit down for your shower too and you can still have plenty of room. Pretty cool. I love this. Okay, I got the bar. I can step out safely. Now let's walk out here. This is the, the couch. The couch does automatically roll back, automatically with a push of a button. There is a grab bar here. Nice space for your feet if you just wanted to sit for people that are short. We also have the TV and the TV comes down. You unlock it, pull it out. Now I can watch TV from here, the couch, just lounging. Or should you be in the front, you can you can do it from the you can watch TV from the, the kitchen or from either of the, the two cab chairs. Very nice. Okay, let me show you something else. If I was in a wheelchair, how do I get to my stuff? Well, you have a pull. You can open it. This cabinet pulls down, goes right back up. And then I can grab the pull and close it. Um, that's the only cabinet that has the, the pull down, but all of the cabinets have the handle so you can reach it. 
very nice. You do have a table that's against the wall. You can pull it out if you wanted to sit and eat here. All right, let's do the bed. At a push of a button, you can lower the bed. And I'm gonna have my husband be the model since he's six feet so you guys can get an idea of the bed. It is not the world's largest bed, but it can do the it can do the trick. Let's see, I'm six feet and I have to go a little diagonally to make it work. My head this way. Um, for one person, it's just fine. For two, if you were side sleepers, maybe you can make it work this way. It's comfortable, just a little short because you are going east to west versus north to south. Clearly, go, go north to south. So you you not can't go. This, this is the way it was intended. Oh, yeah. Comfy cozy are we. Five, three. So we got one, two, that, so. three, four, five cabinets plus a couple in the in the kitchen oh not to mention there is the headliner shelf which adds storage okay let's go ahead and i'm going to demo the, the the ramp you have a wired control you have a non-wired control or wireless and then in the case of an emergency there is the hydraulic um, lift so you can pump it and put it where it needs to go and stow it or lift it up okay so we're going to go down Make sure you clear the sensors. There are sensors everywhere. Doesn't like to work with those. So now you get on. You get on the ramp. And now we're going to take the ramp off. Up. walker you're going to want to make sure or a wheelchair honestly you're going to want to make sure everything is locked in, in place and ready to go when you're coming up now you can just come on in and um, i'll go ahead and stow it there's plenty of room for a wheelchair to come in some notes there are tie downs on the inside of this rig so if you wanted to, you could sit here in your wheelchair and get the wheelchair tied down and be perfectly safe. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. Now, once you're in the rig, let's say you wanna take off. This is awesome. Let's see if I can demonstrate it. Okay, what you would do is you would have the ramp already you would be in with the ramp. The chair would already be in this position. So I'd come off the ramp, I'd come over here, I'd sit down and either somebody could help you or you would do it yourself and you would just spin yourself around and transfer yourself into the cab. Note that there is a step. So if you couldn't make that step, maybe you could be transferred into the chair or you can do the transfer yourself. Now you're in the now you're in the cab. I'm gonna open this so you can see. So, I'm in the cab. In the cab, I do have the handlebar here. Should I wanna be able to come in off the steps? I also have the handle here. So I can um, do that nice and safe. One thing to note, I'm a little, and I'm feeling it's close. I'm gonna show my husband. I'll make sure that he has it all the way back. Can you make sure it's all the way back? Okay, that's all the way forward, all the way back. So you can see he can do it. He's just he's just clearing it. But if you were a little bit bigger, I don't know. But you can have as much room as you want lying back. You probably saw the ladder. 
and you probably saw these and were like, what is this? There is a pop top. So if you wanted um, small children or an extra person, or even if you wanted to do it, you can sleep up top. Note, with the pop top, there is no air conditioner. And this is an option. So actually, Rec Van right now has two of these Winnebago Roams, one with the pop top option and one without. Now, they do have a fan and you could crack a window and I think that fan would do a lot of uh, cross breeze. Some other things to note, this does have two batteries. I don't know the size, but there is no propane. There is no generator. Um, so the batteries are essential to run the house. You can run the microwave, you can run the fan, you can run the lights, you can run everything on the batteries. Note, if you were in, if you had the other version where you didn't have the pop top, it does come with a low profile air conditioner. So the difference is there's a fan here and the low profile air conditioner is way over the, the, the couch and the bed and it's right here. Let's look at the, um, let's look at the cab. So as I mentioned, this is a Ram ProMaster chassis. You see it has a delightfully large screen. It does have cruise control, but not adaptive. This is a phone, cordless phone charger. This is gonna load its stuff up right here. Digital screen up here. See the screen there. Maybe a large down, yeah, in case it's open. This will turn into a reverse camera. Perfect, the MMO. Yeah, It'll have the distance. Yeah, yeah, you know, all the all that standard stuff. stuff. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, that's for then climate. you can do all your climate, then your navigation. It's got Tom Tom on there. Yeah. You can connect your phones. It's got Apple CarPlay and Android Car. You can do different oh, trip things. Go. Yeah. Okay. You can do your different settings. Yeah. All digital. All digital for the safety, traffic, you know, lane assist, all that kind of good stuff. It's got ports over here for your phone, for yep. your 12 volt something, a GPS, yep. a USB C and USB A. Correct. That's, that's... Okay, look at this. This is both a regular mirror and a digital rear view mirror. So it acts like a camera and you can see it. It's awesome. Um, the seats do seem to be manual. Let's look at the outside. This is a manual door, but it's pretty easy to use. It's pretty light. Nice, let's walk. Let me show you the trunk or the garage. So, ooh, it has an outside shower, hot and cold. Not a lot of room. It looks like a little bit of storage in here. This is the mechanism for the bed, so you probably don't want to actually put a lot back here because it'll get um, tripped up. But not very much storage, just a little bit. Um, you're gonna want to keep this free if you're gonna put down the bed. But you know what? More of the doors. Oh, the batteries are back here. That's what's taking up all the room. It's the it's the hefty batteries. About nine feet tall it's not that tall I mean obviously when you pop it up it's gonna be taller this looks like your your, uh, your shore power one thing to note is that the toilet is a cassette toilet so you undo this it opens I would show you if I had a key it opens you pull it out it's like a little suitcase you put it on the ground and you you walk with it you lift it up you dump it into your nearest toilet and then you bring it back and you plug it back in here. All right. And then gas bill.
right, well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Winnebago Rome on the Dodge ProMaster chassis as much as I enjoyed going through it. I found it fascinating and very accessible. Um, I wanna thank Breck Van for allowing us to video um, today and show off uh, and show off the Winnebago uh, Rome. Also, we have no affiliation with Rec Van. We have no affiliation with Winnebago or frankly, any van. We are just here bringing you this because we found it fascinating. We aren't being paid. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to ask you to subscribe if you found this interesting so we can keep doing the videos that you like. This is Ann and Wade with How We Van. Thanks for watching. Okay, we yeah. don't want big hands. <gasps> this is fun. It has a mirror that can look in back of you. Wait, that's not right. Duh. I found this fascinating. Now Wade's parents are looking for a more adaptable or adaptive friendly. What's the term I'm looking for? This is it. Yeah.